Hey, what's up? What's up? It's Mike Epirion here, and welcome back to another episode of Promo Build Battle here in the Hypixel server. Yesterday, I released the first episode of my Let's Play Minecraft 1.13 series, and I hope you enjoyed that video. I was busy testing and playing the new update for the last couple of days, but today we are back here in the Hypixel Build Battle arena. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, here we go again in 3, 2, and 1. So, let's see what we got in the poll. We got Floating Island, Nightmare, Zoo, Dragon, and Toy Box. Uh, I think we're going for uh, Floating Island. Well, I'm thinking about uh, building Apocrypha. Uh, well, not actually the Apocrypha uh, in the Bible, but Apocrypha inspired build from the Skyrim. So it's something like uh, Apocrypha is actually the kingdom of uh, Hermos Mora uh, in the Dragonborn DLC. So, uh, well, talking about Skyrim, of course, uh, no, no. Uh, later on, we'll talk about Skyrim. Well, talking first about uh, Hermos Mora. Uh, he's the Daedric Prince of Knowledge. Uh, he's in the uh, Dragon Ball DLC. Well, you know, something like that. So now, um, for this episode, I think um, I've done this before. Also, since this technique is something like, um, you know, uh, the brush tool technique where, you know, instead of... Um, Having a brush tool, of course, uh, in promo, you don't have any brush tool. So somehow this is similar to um, brush tool technique, which is uh, we're going to copy paste this segment uh, or this part of the build to make some floating islands. So just like that. So this is pretty much generic. Uh, we'll just copy this. But of course, we'll try to avoid uh, the one in the plot because we don't want that to be part of the copy or the copy pasting or the brush tool. So basically, we'll just form the islands uh, in a random manner. So just like that, uh, we'll just put some temporary blocks over here so we can paste it accordingly. So somehow, yeah, we will form some random, um, you know, random uh, landscape of floating islands just like that. So, well, basically, uh, I've used bedrock and mycelium just to, you know, because uh, like, like I said, this is like a Apocrypha inspired build. So, yeah, talking about the one in Skyrim, um, Apocrypha is actually like, um, how do I describe it? It's kind of weird place. Uh, it's actually dark, you know, um, and well, there's some floating islands at the end part, but most of the time you will encounter like tentacles, you know, black tentacles that will hit you behind your back. So, uh, <laughs> well, uh, for this build, yeah, it's something like uh, the landscape is similar to this. And maybe later on, I'll put some black water. Uh, actually, the water in uh, Apocrypha in Skyrim are color black. So somehow I will change the plot to cold to make like color black and put some water on top and maybe some sea lanterns to emphasize, you know, I mean, sometimes because we are going to turn off the lights later or we will set it to nighttime. So at least it will be more immersive. You know, they will experience the actual feel of, uh, you know, what we can see or what we can experience when we're in Apocrypha. So, uh, well, um, talking about the uh, Elder Scrolls series, well, I'm also thinking about, you know, the Elder Scrolls uh, 6. Uh, I hope they will release it soon. Well, definitely I'm going to play that game, especially I'm an Elder Scrolls fan from Morrowind to Oblivion to Skyrim and as well as um, Elder, Elder Scrolls Online. So, uh, well, I hope they don't make uh, an MMORPG for the next, uh, sorry, the next Elder Scroll because I'm not totally a fan of uh, MMORPG because uh, somehow I like the experience and the immersion of, you know, playing a single player RPG. Well, it is more of like, you know, you're per more of like uh, you will pursue the, you know, the story and the main quest aside from, you know, because sometimes uh, it kind of destroyed the immersions if you're, you have other players. Uh, playing the game well i'm not being antisocial but it's more yeah, you, you can actually uh you you actually experience as well that you know be, uh, there's actually a total different experience when you're playing an mmorpg and a uh, single player rpg so well yeah uh, i i'm more of like a single player rpg guy so well yeah definitely uh of course uh, if a new elder scroll game comes out uh, I may consider doing as well a uh, let's play, uh, well, something about, I don't know, uh, something that is out of Minecraft. So, well, yeah, T 
talking about my let's play series well i hope you guys uh enjoy my first episode of uh, let's play minecraft 1.13 i hope you will continuously support the let's play series and you know uh please uh you know show, show some support uh even though uh you know most of you guys are really for uh bb pro uh you know you came to my channel because of bb pro but somehow you know i also need to uh start some you know something new something fresh for the channel because uh of course somehow bb pro is uh well you know sometimes uh you lack creativity to be battle especially if you you know i mean i don't have that so many ideas about um bb pro uh, or making builds in bb pro especially the themes are pretty old it's pretty redundant i've done it a lot of times although i have a lot of builds to I, that i can showcase but um a lot of them are not really the best ones right so uh well talking about again on let's play well um Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think because uh, we don't need to, um, we can change the plot immediately. Uh, we have to cover the top with some water. So let's just use fill tool for this one, just to simulate the like the waters in Apocrypha. So later on we'll, um, later on we'll uh, turn off the light so it will be more atmospheric, especially the feel of you know something. It's not actually hell, it's, but it's kind of weird though. Uh, because um, yeah, it's totally different. The, the, I mean, the apocrypha of uh, Hermos Mora, uh, but yeah. So now let's place some enchanting table here, just to emphasize that you know, because a lot of people don't really understand the reference. Maybe uh, only a few people. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe a, only a few people will get that this is apocrypha, but they don't have to know it, right? They they're. Uh, I mean, I'm showcasing this build because of how it looks. So, well, I'm just inspired of that, you know, that place Apocrypha, but it's not technically the same because, uh, uh, you know, the one in Skyrim is totally uh, somehow, how do I call it? Uh, it's actually pretty elaborate. There's a lot of details to consider and I think it doesn't fit the, you know, the texture in Minecraft and everything. So, well, yeah. So later on, we will add those tentacles uh, and we will put some lights with some color green glass and some magenta glasses. So now let's continue these uh, tentacles because uh, this is actually one of the, you know, uh, most evident stuff that you can see in, um, in Apocrypha. So uh, yeah, let's add more of these. So yeah, talking about um, between... Uh, build battle and let's play well definitely i'm going to continue uh doing uh build battle in hypixel but later on i'm i may also consider other servers but as of now um i'm only thinking about builder refuge but uh i haven't jumped in the server yet uh you know uh, although I, I already went to build this refuse refuge just to visit some friends but actually actual building or uh, actually building um actually joining the build battle in Builder Surfuge, I haven't done it yet. Maybe soon I'll try to seek some help from my friends to see, you know, what's with Builder Surfuge. So maybe later on, um, I can, you know, I will have a series for that. But for now, uh, I will going to continue um, doing BB Pro and BB Teams and as well as the Let's Play Minecraft 1.13. Well, I hope you guys also enjoyed my, uh, my first episode, although I didn't uh, I mean, I haven't done any, you know, uh, awesome build yet, but soon enough, uh, I'll try to make it on the second episode, but it's not, I think it's not, it would not be really that good because uh, I just started the game. I just played it for a couple of hours now, uh, but yeah, maybe soon uh, I will make more, you know, elaborate builds that, you know, will somehow, I hope that will surprise you or will, you know, <laughs> well, well, it's pretty challenging, especially that it's a survival game. Uh, we have to consider, you know, the supplies and the resources uh, that we need for the builds. And as well as, you know, I mean, the supplies and items that we need to survive. Well, uh, yeah, it's part of the game. It's part of the, you know, the challenge that we have to consider in Let's Play Survival. Uh, I, of course, most of you guys already played Survival because that's the vanilla game. 
uh, in Minecraft. So, well, I don't have to say anything about it, but of course, uh, altogether, we're going to play uh, Minecraft 1.13, especially the update is pretty awesome. Well, it's not yet that totally, um, uh, what you call this, uh, uh, optimized yet, but, you know. So now we're almost um, finished the build. Uh, I'm just adding some foliage uh, just to, you know, have a different vibe. Just some added details, but um, most likely we're already finished with the build. So this is just a, like a secondary thing in the, you know, in this apocryphal inspired build. <laughs> so uh, 15 seconds more. So let's just do some final touch, some uh, more foliage, some light thing. I can place it over here and let's just cover a little bit of that. And uh, there you go. Okay, <laughs> all right, it looks good. Okay, uh, voting time. So, um, hmm, it's bone meal though, but uh, blah, 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 blah. yeah, we uh exceeded the height limit because of that uh, giant jungle tree. I can just vote okay, <laughs> yeah, it's just okay. It's still a floating island, right? Well, it's actually a floating island, but you know, it's just okay for me. Okay, let's see next build. Um, hmm. Wow, um, well, I kind of like the structure and also this uh, mythical tree over here. I don't know if that's really mythical or <laughs> he just have some decorations. Yeah, I like these two structures, so I give it a good, All right? Yeah, it's, well, it's pretty generic, but I like the structures. Well, it's still a floating island, right? So he still uh, bounds the, you know, bounds the rules. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Well, this is pretty much generic, so I can... Give it an okay. All right. <laughs> well, it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty basic um, floating island build, but it's okay. Yeah, he's still part of the team, so it's okay for me. Well, at least he diff have different kinds of uh, bone mill trees. <laughs> okay, let's see next build. And hmm. the water kind of messed up though, and he got something like a structure here. This feels like like a spaceship though. I mean a, a UFO. <laughs> mm. But uh, yeah, this this is kind of messed up though. Uh, yeah, I can just give okay. It looks like it looks like a bucket though. <laughs> yeah, in this case, it, it's okay for me. Okay, uh, this one is Nether Nether with a gazebo on the top <laughs> and some ward garden. Think it's kind of squarey though, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just okay. At least he did some variations in the you know the block where he used some quartz and some stuff, you know. <laughs> okay, this is our build. So um, feels like it. I'm I'm actually fighting for the you know the ambience in this uh, you know. Especially this enchanting table. So somehow maybe they don't get the reference, but yeah, uh, I'm more of like showcasing the atmosphere. You know, well we don't have the legendary, but it's okay. It's fine with me. <laughs> okay, uh, this one got a bridge. I uh, got wet in that falls. <laughs> um, just okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it's nothing much, it's not much, but yeah, it's just okay. It's uh, kind of basic, although he just used a uh, quartz for the, you know, for the bridge. <laughs> okay, uh, this one, the falls is kind of messy though. Uh, mm, but I like the texturing in the, no, no, actually he just used uh, more grass blocks, but yeah, just okay. Um, it's quite big for a, a, you know, it's quite big for a floating island, but yeah, the water is kind of messed up. So, uh, let's see next build and the, uh, hmm. I don't understand this though. What's this? Uh, is it a helipod? Hmm. I think it's trying to make a chain, right? It's something like it's hanging from the, from somewhere. Uh, just okay for me. Hmm. Yeah. It's okay. I suppose, I mean, uh, I was about to think that it's creative, but it doesn't really execute it much. Yeah. I mean, really good. 
But yeah, okay, another bridge. Um, yeah, just it's pretty generic, so just okay. Hmm. Well, at least he fixed the faults, right? <laughs> okay, uh, let's see next build. Kitten Gamer two one two. <laughs> All right. Um. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What is that? Uh, the freaking jumping right now. Uh, I am. Uh, are these gonna jump? <laughs> yeah, just okay. It's still a floating island, so yeah, just okay. It's kind of square though, but yeah, it's still a floating island, so yeah. Okay, uh, this one, it looks pretty nice. I like the tree and the clouds here. Um, although he, did, he didn't change the plot, he, ju he should have uh, changed that. But yeah, I think this is a good one, right? Yeah, I like the colors of the tree, I like the leaves. So, although it's uh, terracotta, but you know, at least he, he got it. <laughs> Okay, let's see next build. Um, hmm. Well, it's quite bigger than others, but it's still like a generic, um, you know, yeah, generic yeah. build. And this is kind of messed up as well. Uh, hmm. Yeah, just okay. All right, all right. I think there's a lot of people now. <laughs> okay. Um, Okay, we won this round. Well, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment, please leave a like, and make sure to subscribe. This has been Mike Imperion, and I'll see you guys next time.